I'm sure most of you have seen all of these crazy flipping, you know, images of people in flipping concerts, right? Getting stuff thrown at them. I think the original one to talk about is pink, right? Uh, uh, cheese, right? On stage. I'm sure most of you guys have seen this stuff. Um, loads of artists nowadays, I'm not sure why, but it's become a thing where people are throwing stuff at people. I saw a clip of Lil Nas X performing recently and someone threw something at him. Um, I saw, obviously, there's a clip of, um, what's her name? Bebe Rexa. She unfortunately got some flipping stitches because some idiot decided to throw their phone directly at her face. Um, who else got thrown something? I forgot. Oh, and there was another artist too. There's some um, singer. I forgot who what her name is, but some guy came on stage and was dancing behind her and kind of attacked her and scratched her eye or something where she needed stitches and shit. Really, really, really crazy, right? Um, oh, let's see the Baby Rexa um, stage phone, right? Somebody threw a phone at Baby Rexa also. I think you can see it here. She had to get fucking stitches in her eye. Look at that. Like absolutely gruesome stuff, right? That's happening. And in, and in general, everyone's wondering what's going on with people at live shows. Like, why can't people behave well? And obviously, the Rolling Stones put together a really decent article talking about it, which we're going to quickly dive on deep into. And I'm going to give you my impression on what's happening out there. So this courtesy of Rolling Stone. It said, why has everyone forgotten how to behave at concerts? It says, when a fan threw a phone at Bebe Rexa on stage last month, it was just one of the many bizarre and unsettling recent instances of misbehavior at concerts. Concert goers have pelted Glorilla with bottles, invaded Ava Max's stage, and forced Pink to become part of a stranger's grieving process by apparently tossing the ashes of her dead relative on stage. But those instances are just the most visible of a depressing trend. Particularly since the pandemic, people seem to have completely forgotten how to behave at shows. In a new episode of Rolling Stone Music Now, Thomas Mia and Britney Spears join a host, Britney, to discuss the rise in the bad behavior while also reminding themselves that crowds have always had been troubled to keep a hold of. To hear the whole discussion, click here. Else, an episode of. Anyway, cool. Whatever. We're not going to listen to the whole show. So, why I think this is happening? In my opinion, I think a lot of this has to do with the fact that a lot of people that are going out nowadays are young. And they didn't have the experience of going out for like two and a half years during COVID. So a lot of people are young that are going out. And I think there is a real big difference in the experiences you have in concerts based on who you're going to see. If who you're going to see appeals to a very young crowd, be aware it's going to be fucking crazy. It's going to be like a rave. When really for me, when I was coming up and I was going to shows and started raving, shows were actually an opportunity to have like a chilled night out to actually go and listen to some music to go and vibe with a band vibe with an artist there wasn't a time to actually turn up like you would in the rave you can kind of have a separate experience or a different experience whereas nowadays i feel like the kids want to have the same experience they have in an edm rave or whatever they listen to that they will have at a gig so they go just as crazy for it Obviously, as well, there's a part of me that also thinks for some reason, I don't know why, but I feel like these kids also are a little bit more celebrity obsessed. They really kind of fan out over people a lot more. So when they go to these places to go see their favorite artists, they're going to be going hysterical because they see them in person. He looked at him. She looked at her, whatever it may be, right? They get a little bit crazy over that regard and they don't know really how to act. And another part of it, I think also in a weird way, I think, weirdly enough, the artists kind of encourage it. I think all artists basically out there kind of strive for or aim to have a standom. They want to have fanatical fans. For some reason, they all want fanatical fans that know way too much about their personal lives, that follow every movement that they do. And I think part of that, having, you know, the, 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 the kind of, the other side of a coin of having a really rambunctious fan base is that you're going to have some people who are going to overstep the mark who are going to do a bit too much because they feel like they know you, because they feel like they understand you. And that's where it kind of gets a little bit dicey, as Slippin' Brendan would say. That's the risk that they run, really and truly. And I think a lot of people in general just don't know how to behave at festivals, just don't know how to behave at live shows, don't know how to behave at concerts. There's no decorum. There's no, you know, there's no flipping manners, nothing. It's all just a complete fuck fest. Do what you want, go crazy, have a good time. And it is what it is, which is what's kind of led to this. And then a part of me also thinks, you know what? It also feels like a lot of this has to do with the rampant, 
rampant pandemic of everyone suffering from fucking main character syndrome. I think there are so many people out there who have this idea in their head or who have this imagination that there are secret fucking you know, keeping up with the Kardashian level reality TV cameras following their every movement. Like they're the star of their own movie. They're the star of their own TV show. Like the fucking Truman Show or something. That's what their people walk around like. So it's no surprise when they go to shows, they feel like they should be involved. They feel like they should have some stage time also. It's kind of cringe, but you see it often. I had a really odd experience or, you know, just the other day coming back from flipping Margate, coming out of the station and this one guy was just like dilly-dallying on the fucking turnstiles of the train ticket thing, right? Where you put your tickets through. He was just like talking to his friends like, oh, how do I do this with this ticket? Does this go there? Like, n n you know, all the knowing that there's a whole train full of people coming behind him trying to get through the gates. And here he is in the middle of the gates, in front of the gates, sorry, dilly-dallying and asking his friends how fucking train tickets work. I'm like, bruh. Like, you do know there are people behind you trying to get through. I had to say, like, excuse me twice in a very forceful tone. Like, excuse me. Excuse me. Right? In my fucking intimidating black boy tone. Excuse me. It's Tyrone. Right? Just to get his attention. And only then did he kind of turn around and be like, oh, and kind of walk to the side. But even then, he didn't acknowledge me, didn't say sorry, didn't say anything. He just kept on fucking talking. And I think everybody lives in this weird delusion that they're really important. Maybe I'm kind of contributing to it also because here I am speaking into a fucking USB mic and shouting about all my fucking thoughts and feelings to a fucking audience full of nobodies, right? So clearly, I'm obviously somebody that does the same thing. But I think there is an element of that main character syndrome that's seeping into shows where it's not enough to just see the person perform you also have to be performing you're clapping super loud you're singing aggressively loud you're doing your dumb fucking dances you know what i mean you're bringing i've heard people bringing fucking tambourines to live shows are you hearing that i've heard people go into fucking vampire weekend shows and bring in fucking tambourines go into an mgmt show and bring in some drums to fucking drum along to on the fucking song do you do you know how weird you have to be to do that some people think it's weird i don't personally because i love a good sing-along some people think it's weird to go to a show and sing along to your favorite track when your favorite band is performing right Okay, cool. Let's imagine that's weird. How weird is it to be for you to pack a fucking tambourine and go and ha hum, ha hum, ha hum, especially if you're white and you're doing it in like that weird offbeat way. Do you know how bizarre that is to do? Do you know how odd that is to do that? To go to a live show, pay your 50 pounds and go watch people perform, but then you also want to perform. Do you know how strange that is to do? That is absolutely insane. So I think there are so many elements of that connected to it that kind of lead to this, you know, this fucking epidemic, this fucking pandemic we're happening at the moment where people are throwing shit at fucking artists trying to do their fucking job out there. It's absolutely diabolical. And if you're on those people, you really need to give your head a wobble because it's not cute. It's not fair. I don't like it. And it's lame as hell.